Hello, good evening everybody. My name is Dmitry Korotkov. Uh, I'm a head of division of International s and Science and Technology Project in Department of Science and Technology, Ministry of Education Science. And uh, today uh, I would like to talk and uh, discuss with you the topic of science and technology policy, efficiency and effectiveness. Uh, so, um, if you don't mind, we begin. Um, some times ago I found uh, some strange device. Do you know what is this? Uh, uh, I don't even know it. what is this could be. I don't know. Uh, if I just try to read off of nail, it will be ineffective. Uh, if someone fight against me, I just try to throw it away and it will be less effective than, I don't know, a hammer. So uh, what this could be. But if I would try to uh, read off the is an isolator of the wire, uh, like that, it will be very effective. So the idea is that uh, until we know what is this, exactly, we couldn't uh, estimate effectiveness and efficiency at all. So the question is how we can uh, estimate, uh, how we can understand the SNT technology policy and, and evaluation. Uh, some time ago, in the beginning of the ministry, I just thought uh, if I meet uh, Minister of Education Science, what I would like to talk to him. Uh, what uh, is he thinking about? Uh, what is the uh, SNC policy at all? And uh, definitely uh, this is uh, look at the uh, environment of the Minister in the Ministry of uh, Science and uh, Education and uh, what is the science and technology environment? First of all, the environment is uncertain and uh, un, uh, unpredictable because it's constantly changing. Science uh, is evolving every time. Uh, and uncertain because uh, the science is very... Uh, um, differently developed and uh, also have uh, uh, need very deep understanding in different questions to uh, estimate what we are talking about. Uh, it's very competitive landscape. It has very competitive landscape. Uh, more uh, if we speak about the uh, science and technology business. Uh, it's uh, uh, also limited resources because if we would like to, uh, if we will have unlimited resources, we don't need to decide what to support, how to facilitate uh, uh, science. Uh, it's uh, definitely a lack of time. If I'm, for example, minister, just imagine, uh, you would have four years maybe uh, to have some significant results and we all uh, every time lack of time. Uh, we know that uh, there is any time there is a space to uh, extend uh, science and technology policy and there is a gap between uh, fundamental science and applied sciences um, and the uh, economy between because the, uh, the idea that created in fundamental science could have a very wide application in the uh, economy, but other, uh, on other cases it uh, could have no uh, economic and social effect at all. And the issue of new knowledge, uh, the issue is very interesting. I think it's never um, happened at all. The, the, the question, just let me uh, uh, just let me uh, show you one thing uh, to describe what is the issue of uh, new knowledge at all. If I just take this this back uh, and I know that uh, and I would like to check that 
uh, there is a, a cap in this uh, this uh, bag, so I know uh, all pockets. And just by logic, I just need to check all pockets uh, to to state that it is inside. So I know the pockets. I just open each of them and find nothing. So. Uh, finally, the logic say me, says me that uh, there is no cap at uh, the back at all. But uh, the new knowledge is like an unknown pocket in the bag. Uh, it could contain, I don't know, uh, it could contain uh, the Einstein uh, relativity uh, theory. It could contain contain um, some other things. So if I find new pocket, I will find the cap uh, which served the, the bag from the rain. Uh, so it means that if we uh, just try to make science, we don't. Me, we, we could know, we couldn't know what we will discover and what we will find finally. That's the issue if you are trying, if you are trying to manage science, uh, I mean fundamental science. So uh, it's definitely couldn't say that I will, I don't know, uh, I get the money to open uh, the theory of uh, relativity or something like that. So uh, that's the issue of no, uh, new knowledge, if you manage the science. So uh, finally, to, cup, uh, to tackle with all those issues, there is much more. You need um, some model, some strategy, some uh, priorities, uh, aim, uh, and goals to uh, go forward. But uh, finally, the meaning of processes is outside of the process at all. Just look at the man. Uh, it seems that uh, he uh, making some drugs maybe to heal someone. Yes, very, very good. But uh, on the other side, maybe he just making uh, 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 poison. Maybe she's just making poison, just laughing that uh, his enemy will be dying. So uh, it means, it, uh, it shows that the meaning of what we are seeing lies outside the process that we're trying to understand. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and intentions and goals are often hidden uh, it's because we need, uh, sometimes we just, if we just want to, uh, to someone to make something, uh, we need uh, actions from him, not understanding some of the time. Uh, so, uh, next thing, so let's, let's get to some demonstration. I want to reach a settlement. I left you with too little earlier. Yes, nothing is too little. I'm sorry you're not fonder of me, lad. Your father always said be fond of stronger men. No wonder he loved everyone. I've come to you to offer peace. Piss on your peace. Your father would have wept. My father was a weeper. Fight me and you lose. I can't lose, Henry. I have time. Well, just look at you. Great heavy arms, but each year they get a little heavier. The sand goes pit-pat in the glass. I'm in no hurry, Henry. I've got the time. Suppose I hurry things along. Suppose I say that England is at war with France. Then France surrenders. I don't have to fight to win. Take all you want. This county, that one, you won't keep it long. What kind of courage have you got? The tidal kind. It comes and goes. 
By God, I'd love to turn you loose on Eleanor. More brandy wine. Do you recognize it? They were boiling it in Ireland before the snakes left. Well, things look a little bleak for Henry, don't they? You'll say yes to Richard when he comes, arms, soldiers, anything he asks. I'd be foolish not to. Yes, and withdraw it all before the battle ever started. Oh, wouldn't you in my place? Why fight Henry when his sons will do it for you? Yes, exactly. You've got promise, lad. That's first-class thinking. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night. You're going? But we haven't settled anything. We open Christmas presents at noon till then. You can't be finished with me. Oh, but I am. It's been most satisfactory. What's so satisfactory? Winning is. I did just win. Surely you noticed. Not a thing. You haven't won a damn thing. Hmm. I found out the way your mind works and the kind of man you are. I know your plans and expectations. You've burbled every bit of strategy you've got. I know exactly what you will do and exactly what you won't. And I've told you exactly nothing to these aged eyes, boy. That's what winning looks like, dame et bien. This is the small demonstration uh, of the Line in Winter film. Uh, how the strategy works. It was hidden. But revealed finally is a description uh, what is the victory in this uh, conversation. So uh, we, what is the strategy? Just look at that uh, and uh, describe uh, how we can uh, tackle with this. So the strategy uh, comes from the Greek uh, stra strategia. Art of troops leader on some something like that is a high level plan to achieve one or more goals under condition of uh, uncertainty. And what is important uh, strategy? This is well, maybe better description. Strategy generally uh, involves setting goals, determine actions to achieve the goals, and mobilize resources to execute the actions. A strategy describes how the how, uh, how the ends, goals, will, the, will be achieved by the means, resources. So how we can use uh, this, uh, this strategy uh, to understand how, how uh, the SNT works. But before we go further, uh, I would like to show one more example uh, which uh, describes that uh, strategy and effectiveness uh, very strongly connected with open uh, options of the future. You're done. You're done? You want to know what that means? I will tell you what that means. That means exactly how it sounds, yo. All right, we are witnesses. We are loose ends. Right now, Tuko's thinking, yeah, hey, they cook good math, but can I trust them? What happens when he decides no? No. It is him no, or us. You understand? Okay. It is him or us. How would you do it? You mean, how would I do it? Specifically, how would you do it, step by step? All right. Say we set up one last sale. This is for Biden. He doesn't decide to waste this before then. Now, every time we bring in a new batch, he always tests the product, right? So as his head is down, you know, giving it a snort, just pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. So three shots. Yeah, three shots, or I don't know, two. No, wait, wait, is it two or is it three? I mean, two would probably work, I guess, yeah. Okay, two shots. Two shots in the chest, two shots in the face. Man, what? come on. No, I'm just you... trying to understand how this works. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll put a pin in that. But by now, the big guy, Gonzo, he's probably coming at you, right? Yeah. 
Right, so you turn toward him. Yeah, just squeal on him. Just... Minute, how many shots for him? I mean, he's a big guy, right? How many shots does that take? I don't know. Three. Three shots. Okay, three shots. Okay, Tuco and Gonzo, two men down. Now, is there anyone else there? I mean, Tuco is usually with someone else, right? Maybe even a couple of guys, his, his dealers, his posse. All right. So we'll put a pin in that one, too. Now, at this point, how many shots have been fired? I mean, you've got to be running low, right? How many bullets does that gun even take? Um, let me see. It's not... I don't... So, what we saw uh, right now, the Walter White just demonstrating us uh, yes, this is another, uh, another uh, history, but uh, we see that the effectiveness and the meaning of the gun depends on uh, options, uh, on what could be done in the future, what, how this could be used. Uh, so gun uh, by this, themselves, uh, uh, doesn't mean anything. It uh, could mean not uh, protection, but um, some other thing. Uh, let's look at very simple model of strategy. Um, so, what we need uh, at least. Uh, uh, okay, we just like an actor. Uh, just want to do something, achieve uh, some some goal, uh, and uh, yes, let it be. Uh, we would do this not directly, but using some resources on some other men. So this is very easy thing. We just need to take action, state the task to to the man, uh, and uh, finally he could make what we ask him. In the easy way, we just ask, just give me an apple, uh, and finally he just take it and give, it, give me an apple. We, we've got the uh, result, that's okay. But uh, the question is, uh, if the man that we're asking is not uh, have their uh, interest, he don't want to help us, or he's busy, or something like that. Uh, so what if this is community, not a man? Uh, so finally, uh, we have, when we just task, make the task and uh, start the action, finally we could have different results. And uh, to make to state our task and get the result effectively, we need to understand the possible consequences of our uh, task. That result, because re this result could be non-liner. So finally, we can uh, have a result which move closer to the goal and the result which move away from the goal, like in the uh, scene that we just saw a couple of minutes ago. So, uh, the next thing, uh, <clears throat> this uh, as um, uh, additional, diff uh, the additional thing, when we look at the model, there is uh, there could be some difficulties if we have more people. There uh, could be more uh, options uh, with uh, consequences uh, correlated with perception of actors. And this is one more. Uh... Well, mummy, if you want me, here I am. <laughs> John's lost his chancellor, has he? And you've gained one. It's a bitter thing your mummy has to say. She doesn't trust me. You must know Henry isn't through with John. He'll keep the vex in till the moon goes blue from cold. And as for Richard's wedding day, 
We'll see the second coming first. The needlework alone can last for years. I know. You know, I know. I know, you know, I know. We know, Henry knows. And Henry knows we know it. We're a knowledgeable family. Why? Why is uh, this uh, long description who knows what? Uh, the question uh, is that if someone don't know something, we can use it. Unknowing could be uh, used uh, as an instrument to reach some goals. Uh, so, uh, let's uh, get deeper in, in this subject and uh, uh, illustrate it on the, the uh, figure. Uh, look, uh, if the plane is uh, flying to, from the point A to point B uh, and there is a wind uh, to not, get, uh, to not uh, have the, um, uh, to get uh, on the point B, the, uh, he should point just in another point, not in point, uh, if uh, the plane just flying to the point, for example, two, and there is a wind, he should point on the uh, point one. And then finally, under the wind, he will come to the point two. That means so if we have uh, the some kind, uh, this is just an, an example and description, which means that uh, there, are, uh, there could be external condition that influence on uh, what we are doing. And we, if we would like to have a uh, result to a name, we should take into account some additional conditions uh, some external, maybe internal influence, and just make corrections and uh, a, uh, aimed at the point one. And finally, we will get to point two. For example, uh, who just uh, settled a timer earlier to get up earlier, but finally just have a time for a sleep and uh, not be late? Yes? We're just using this thing because this is. Uh, internal process with, which with uh, that internally just try to uh, try us to have a sleep much more time and we just make the correction so we reserve the time uh, and resources for project because we just know that maybe something happens uh, so we maybe have need some time uh, and we can go around the center of the city to avoid traffic jams. Uh, yes, if we just look uh, straight on the situation, we, when we're just going around the city uh, to avoid traffic jams, this is not uh, efficient because we're just spending more time just going around. Formally, formally, we're just spending more time getting to point one it, in the beginning. But finally, we have the final result. On the, uh, on the scheme and on uh, the samples, it's very easy. We know it. But <clears throat> when we are just trying to shape science and technology uh, policy with very different actors, with... Uh, some invisible internal forces and uh, try to uh, like an actor just find some action appropriate action which could be made and move the our person to point two in these uncertain conditions so we should find the sample strategy not sample action. And this strategy uh, could consist several steps uh, and some 
uh, aims, which task which not directly focused on aim. Um, okay. Yes, definitely. We can get back. Simple strategy means that uh, you not uh, look. Uh, if we just would, we, we need to make an order. So uh, we we speak about situation when we we as a, as an actor would like to make something not directly but using something, using a man for example. So we just need to. Uh, make an order, ask something. And uh, the simple action is uh, to ask directly what we need. For example, um, I don't know, um, mm, just give me an apple. But finally, if we uh, understand that the, uh, there is something inside the man, I just show it on the next slide. Uh, he could um, understand our words otherwise. For example, he could resist. So if there is a resistance, so I need uh, to make not simple action which could direct us to the point two, but correct my, my command and uh, point him, him, point him to point to uh, some task, which finally, finally will move me to point two. Uh, here is an example of Bitstrup. Uh, yeah. So we see that the, this is uh, the World War II, uh, uh, World War II uh, history. So this is the uh, German soldier find the uh, Freedom, written in German. So uh, he asked the soldier, uh, just paint it. Um, there is resistance. And uh, if, he's, if we think that we would like to get the result that we, we want, we should not ask, uh, and maybe we should need, uh, not go directly to result, but do something, prepare something, invite something, and something like that. That's why we need uh, some strategy. Uh, and in science and technology, we have very different actors with different uh, interests. This is the public and government institution and foundation with money and scientific institutions, universities, scientists uh, as an actors and business. Uh, and they cooperate in different uh, activities. Uh, we will discuss it later. So if, as I said, uh, if we would like as a minister for science and technology would like to shape some strategy, uh, we should take it in, into account because every actor here has uh, have I don't know uh, the special internal processes which should be taken into account. Um, <clears throat> as I said, we should understand what we. Uh, are dealing what we are dealing with so this is uh, again just simplified very simplified s and system model uh, so uh, the scientific product uh, on different stages begins from idea then go through some kind of research and create some fundamental science output and development uh, and provide some devices and uh, technology. Uh, so production stage. Uh, and uh, uh, on the input, they all have an ideas, publications, some challenges and 
public demand, industry requests, science and technology policy. So it's all, uh, all regulation. So this is the input. Uh, then the input will lead to some actions. Uh, the, in the core, there, is, there should be any science and technology group to make science. Uh, so, uh, sorry, too smart. Uh, okay, uh, they contacted with, uh, they required some resources, research infrastructure, definitely, funding, okay, uh, because they need time. Uh, they need scientific community to discuss it. They need information, uh, also like ideas, articles, and books, and something like that. They need communication, at least. Um, in different types, there are s different activities. For example, uh, fundamental research and applied research uh, uh, a very different, uh, different um, include different processes, because uh, fundamental science uh, have open results available for whole community, world community, and it's public available in articles and journals uh, and books. Uh, if we don't uh, mind by, about the cost of the books, so. Uh, these scientists, they are closer to cooperation model. But when we go to the applied sciences and development and closer to production, we will face the competition. Because uh, to secure investment in production, to secure investment in product development and service development. You should uh, secure your investment. Uh, secure, uh, it means uh, to have some uh, intellectual property patents, uh, which uh, just make the free market to the very restricted market. Uh, it means if I have it only in my management, uh, this intellectual property, I have uh, additional um, um, uh, potential. So the, the stage of R&D uh, and production stage, very competitive uh, and mostly closed. And the results uh, is managed by parties who develop this. So. Anyway, finally, uh, science will provide several uh, scientific output by publications, it's uh, on every stage, uh, by intellectual property, uh, by products and services, by education, uh, by economic and social development. So finally, this output should go through popularization, commercialization, and transfer go again as an input to the uh, scientific community. So this is long lasting process. And uh, if it's working okay, perfect, uh, we will have very good output. And finally, some social economic development and moving uh, very big impacts uh, of science to the, to the world. <clears throat> but, as I said, uh, in different countries, uh, there are different actors with different interests uh, and different scientific community and something like that. So uh, it's very difficult to create some, I don't know, uh, some perfect recipe which uh, could solve any science and technology system model. So. Let's go then the, about the goal. So if uh, someone have questions, uh, just feel free to interrupt me, okay. Uh, if you look at a strategy for such a complex area as um, science and technology policy, uh, 
uh, you have to manage and consider the interest of a vast variety of various actors, institutions, and so on. And uh, it seems to me that you do not always have uh, the sufficient information uh, in order to make the appropriate decision to make everything right for every the unit you manage. And uh, how do you solve this problem? How do you get the, the uh, sufficient information for all these various uh, fields? A very good question. Uh, fortunately, uh, as we show an example of some minister, uh, fortunately any minister come not on an empty place. So uh, there is science before, and uh, there is some culture and some system. So we don't need to create it from uh, from stretch. Uh, but definitely, uh, to understand what to do with this system to raise efficiency, and uh, so first of all, we need to set up goals because uh, we just. Uh, look forward through several uh, goals which uh, settled in different countries, we will see that uh, there are differences. Uh, and uh, the setting goals is the most important thing of any strategy. Uh, I mean, it doesn't mean, it doesn't uh, mean, will it be public goals, uh, which uh, in my model, just some kind of task, which uh, that means that you go to the task, to the, to the, the task, uh, but my goal could be different. For example, uh, uh, we, need, we have a budget shortage and we need to uh, uh, cut the budget from institutes, but we say about the rising efficiency, you see? So we say, okay, let's, let's raise uh, efficiency. This is the task for uh, people, for me, uh, as a condition current situation. I need to cut the budget. So, um, uh, right, right to uh, make appropriate decisions. We just need to have appropriate model uh, of what is going on in this uh, scientific uh, environment and um, that's why we're just talking about the effectiveness and efficiency we just need to get, get the information uh, and on the uh, next hour we will discuss how to do it, do it uh, more closely so uh, let's look at different uh, aims uh, which formulated different countries. Uh, we will have some practice uh, if we will have time for this. I hope we will. Uh, okay, United States. One of the perfect goals which settled ensured that federal investment in science and technology are making the greatest possible contribution to economic prosperity, public health, environmental uh, quality, and national security. So what we have? We uh, have the requirements for uh, effi uh, efficiency, the greatest possible contribution. And we have a name, uh, economic, uh, economic, public health, environmental and national security. So let's get then the Germany. The Germany, moving Germany forward on its way to becoming, uh, to becoming uh, a worldwide innovation leader. The goal is for good ideas to be translated quickly into innovative products and services. If we just get back to the scheme, uh, so they just, uh, their interest, they, they focused not uh, on uh, quality of life, as we uh, see in, uh, in the United States, uh, 
the United States just settle the general task, general uh, goal. We have the goal oriented on the quality of process. Why? It means it because uh, in the United States the uh, S&T policy uh, company, S&T company institutions, too very independent, very independent from the government. So for them we sh should need the climb uh, more general in the final aim. In the Germany, uh, there is very good instruments to manage <coughs> uh, to manage uh, organizations' policy. Uh, that's why we can work on quality uh, of the process more closely. France. Uh, enable of air, uh, all areas on French research to be better take on the scientific, technological, economic, and social challenges of the decades to come. It means <coughs> challenges. Okay, there are uh, detailed uh, aims formulation uh, France in the Europe 2020. Uh, Okay, let's, let's look at that. Just look at that, just uh, the text. We'll get that later. What we can see here? We can see uh, social challenges <coughs> Uh, like uh, social uh, sciences, social challenges, in, as in the United States, and uh, uh, they aim to um, change and work on quality of uh, scientific processes, and uh, again. And uh, again, we see the, the many uh, aims as they climbed, settled how we can uh, foster science and uh, development process and uh, cooperation. United Kingdom, to be the best place in the world for science and business. Uh, yes, that's it. Uh, this is very simple, straightforward. And why it is that? Again, because in uh, UK, uh, <coughs> institutes, universities and scientific institutes very independent from the government. So they think and they uh, know that the, the, uh, the big thing is to make the best place, then invite leading scientists uh, from around the world, make uh, best laboratories, so the best people will do the best science. That's an idea. It doesn't matter. Okay, Japan. Sustainable growth and self-sustaining uh, sustaining regional development. Uh, ensure safety and security. Uh, address global challenges and sustainable creation uh, of intellectual property. So the property just become in, uh, in Japan. No one else say about this. Okay, let's, let's go then. It doesn't look better. China. Uh, the strategy of reinvigorating the country through science and education, through human resources and development. Finally, we are closing to the first uh, part. And uh, the idea here, again, this is the picture of the bistro. 
Yes, uh, where he begin with a tree and get uh, not predictable result. Uh, finally, don't forget that science is about the life, but life couldn't be could be unpredictable. So uh, when we shaping shaping the science and technology policy, we should have instrument to periodically test how it's evolving, how it's changing, when we're setting the goals and uh, uh, shaping the uh, development of uh, science and technology environment. So uh, let's uh, have a break, then we will go uh, to the next part. Um, I would like uh, also um, to arrange uh, some practice afterwards, so that's why uh, I will not speak longer about the uh, second part to go through practice. <clears throat> anyway, the second part, effectiveness and efficiency of assessment itself. Um, first of all, before we go further, uh, the idea here is um, um, yes, we've heard about the uh, estimation of science and technology uh, policy, uh, its effectiveness and efficiency, but uh, can we estimate uh, efficiency and effectiveness, the estimation itself? Uh, and uh, the idea here that if we just uh, analyzing some subject like a uh, SND policy, the main idea that the result should be applicable at any time. Otherwise, it will be many information because there are many uh, methodology uh, how to provide survey and analysis, uh, but how to choose and how to select one of them is applicability. How to uh, understand what is appropriate in uh, different cases. This is one of the questions. Okay, no, but before we go, uh, let's uh, look. Uh, this is very clear, I hope, for everyone. But anyway, I'd like to uh, underline the, the definition and uh, that effective is successful uh, in producing a desired or intended result. So it means that effectiveness, as we uh, discuss, uh, discuss in the figure before, the point two, to get the, uh, the result with the, we need it. And efficient, achieving the maximum productivity with minimum waste efforts or exp uh, ex expense. Okay, uh, just uh, as an entire environment, uh, as an entire environment is um, um, very different from country to country, and uh, uh, it depends. Uh, consists of different organizations, as we discussed before. So, uh, the, to create some general instrument to make the common estimation uh, is very complicated task. And maybe uh, it's difficult to imagine uh, the tool that works perfect for every purposes. But anyway. Uh, in OECD, uh, uh, Franskati just developed the manual. Uh, it's the, this manual is uh, available on the website of uh, OECD. Uh, this manual maybe 32 years ago just established, and uh, then uh, it's updated regularly. Uh, 
so it it uh, there are also other documents which could which could be which could have a uh, very interesting value uh, to make a survey. So, uh, as I said, it's proposed standard practice for survey of research and experimental development uh, from 1992. And uh, uh, what is important, uh, OECD proposed guidelines for uh, collecting and interpreting technological innovation data uh, and uh, 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 very interesting about uh, uh, use interpretation of patent dot data and science and technology indicators uh, and something like that then okay uh, but uh, again we get can uh, get back to to the to our uh, our general scheme uh, and uh, uh, and uh, to understanding the subject. So uh, when we just uh, try to make a survey and analysis of current state uh, of the SNT system and SNT policy, we should understand. Uh, we should understand what exactly we would like. How exactly we will be using this data uh, to find the uh, weakest uh, and strongest uh, parts. For example, uh, a couple of uh, years ago, uh, I was participating in uh, the uh, out in uh, our OECD outlook that was made of uh, uh, Russian innovation uh, system and policy. It's a very interesting outlook. Uh, I, I believe that uh, it's very important to read it. Uh, it's available on OECD uh, website. And um, yeah, what is uh, what uh, was the idea? There were many interesting idea. Uh, they just uh, meeting scientists in different organizations, uh, but they begin from some conception, some uh, proposal uh, of the uh, description of final result and then by uh, discussion with scientists and gathering information they uh, adjusted it and finally for example uh, what is important how to make uh, the value out of survey or such analysis because um, what is difficult is to make decision. Make decision is uh, to, as we discussed, to choose between uh, different options. Because we have, as we said, lack of resources, lack of time. So anytime uh, we should uh, find the way where we can, uh, we can efficiently, we can uh, with the less efforts get the much uh, out output. For example, uh, they uh, in OECD report they, they make the uh, figure with uh, uh, different fields with competing actions. For example, uh, we can spend more money on high tech, I mean Russia. Uh, we can spend uh, more money on high-tech technology and on low technology. Low technology, it means uh, earlier, uh, earlier stage production from the uh, you know, coal, to from the steel, so not, not uh, uh, sale the steel, but uh, early stage products, development or early stage products. And they found that the most then the most, uh, the biggest output that could be made Russian from the current states, so the current state is to uh, use low, uh, low technological uh, development, low technological production, and this will have the maximum economic output. So there are 
Any other decisions, uh, a proposal for decision uh, uh, and decision in choosing, uh, first, first of all, in showing the options? Because uh, the, our freedom and uh, our freedom consists of options that we could choose, we could, uh, that we understand, and uh, options that we can act. So the survey uh, and analysis could discover these options and estimate uh, the possible outcomes uh, of this and find weaker place, uh, weaker, uh, so weaker links. For example, one of the uh, weaker place in <coughs> um, European program, I mean, uh, when FP7, seventh framework program finished, there are mo much discussion about very, uh, low um, economic outcome on uh, S&T investment. So they spent nearly 40 uh, billion euros on uh, FP7 framework program, but outcome, uh, economic outcome of this uh, investment was uh, was lower than prediction. They are very uh, focused on uh, the, the way from IP uh, and publication and uh, some uh, results of research and development stage, stage to uh, transfer to production. So they focus on that uh, side. And uh, we can focus, find uh, some issue and analyze which options could be used to overcome and then make some changes in system. And when we will speak about changes in system, uh, we should think that uh, we should order what will have the effect, desired effect. Not what we desire, but desired effect. Uh, as I said, not uh, decreasing the budget, but uh, rise of uh, of uh, ROI, a return of investment. So, um, <clears throat> just uh, this year, the government of Russian Federation just provided um, just provided uh, an analysis of institutes of uh, development. Uh, there are much of them in banking system and uh, uh, some other organization which support, support scientific activities and small medium companies. And the Ministry of Education and Science uh, analyze, was analyzing the funding system. Uh, so we have several funds. We have uh, fund uh, for, basic uh, for basic research as we uh, so, on a basic level, fund for basic research, uh, Russian scientific fund, uh, which funds big uh, projects uh, in fundamental science. As I said, fundamental science will have results on the article, articles and papers. So, uh, also, there are other financing, uh, other funds. There are funds for uh, innovation, uh, which spent on money on uh, small and medium enterprises. In, in enterprises. So uh, we, and uh, what I would like to discuss. When we um, think in the beginning, how we can analyze our funding, what. Uh, what the difference? We just uh, settled the money. There is a very transparent rules uh, by which uh, the fund just uh, open the calls and uh, fund scientific initiative projects. Um, so that's very clear. But how we can 
estimate their efficiency and effectiveness. Um, so I just go through several uh, descriptions uh, and several aims that we should focus on when we analyze a uh, scientific fund. First of all, it's finance management effectiveness. Uh, it, means, uh, uh, that it means that fund, uh, uh, yes, we speak about uh, the funds supported from the uh, government budget. But anyway, this fun, any fund could invite uh, funds not from government, but uh, non-budget resources from the private companies, from the result, uh, from the companies that which is, uh, which creates by the uh, realization of projects. So the co-funding from non-government organizations, yes, if we have uh, co-funding, this is good because this is secure and provide long-lasting stability for the fund. Average annual uh, income from the use of uh, idle funds. Yes, this is also very important, but maybe technical thing. But uh, uh, it is also very important that uh, the, f the decision where and how to secure fun uh, funds money and uh, how to get revenue from this. Uh, it's also uh, the question for estimation, its effectiveness, uh, and uh, uh, administrative costs. Here it is. And um, complaints with expected results. Uh, what expected results we are waiting from the scientific fund? Um, First of all, this is scientific output. Uh, scientific output, what is this? This is article, articles. Uh, scientific articles could be very various in quality, yes? That's why to analyze this, we use uh, Hirsch index. Someone heard about this? Um, so, um, definitely in science very, uh, if we will be clear, in science very difficult to um, estimate quantity of scientific output. And one of the issue is, uh, as I said, uh, the issue of new knowledge. Uh, this new knowledge about new pocket with uh, something new. Um, this thing, as it appears, difficult to estimate for those who right now in science. Uh, for example, um, um, I don't know, Galileo Galilei with uh, new ideas uh, will be not ex was not accepted uh, because uh, new ideas lies out of the logic, yes, as, uh, as I described in the, uh, in, the, in the example of the back, when we find new knowledge, logic not working. That on before that, we know that uh, if we check all pockets, there is nothing, so we has nothing, we have nothing. Uh, but uh, new pocket open new understanding of reality. That's here is an example. Um, maybe three years ago, uh, some uh, Russian scientists working in England, um, they um, uh, worked uh, on um, brain activities and uh, accept the. Neuron uh, cells, there are, uh, they call glia cells. Um, it's weighted about half of the brain. 
and uh, most scientists think that uh, uh, this is they have only service functions that not uh, operate in the cognitive uh, functions of the brain. So uh, this scientist just tried very interesting, very simple, uh, simple experiment that this glia. Uh, Th that we are very actively react on uh, lack of uh, oxygen. So we need very small time to react on oxygen and we react it by whole body. Uh, so uh, this is very fast process and they just take the glia from different parts of the, our brain and the most uh, different part of the brain and then uh, simulate this process of lack of uh, oxygen. And finally, they obtain that um, glia from different parts of the brain react differently. It means that uh, glia is not uh, the same, uh, glia consists not uh, the same cells. Uh, it con contains different specialized cells with different functions. So, um, this is very big uh, discovery. It means that until that, if, if uh, until that we believe that cognitive functions was only in neuron cells, but new vision could change our perception and say that neuron cells, there's just the wires. Uh, and we're using other cells like glia with different uh, structure. But anyway, uh, I just uh, would I would like uh, just show the example. They uh, say sent the article to uh, Science Journal, and uh, the journals rejected this article because uh, uh, they say that. Uh, it's a bullshit. So, uh, because because uh, scientific uh, articles they uh, go through peer review procedure. I hope everyone knows how how their scientific artic articles uh, publicate. Everyone. Uh, perfect. So. Uh, and uh, scientists review uh, scientific articles. So if uh, they open, if they believe that this is possible, uh, they will allow this uh, knowledge go to the scientific community and then maybe they will blow all this, uh, this community. But finally, uh, Science uh, rejected this article, then they sent it to the uh, Nature. Nature uh, announced this article, and then began. After that, it was very big, uh, uh, big um, discussions of this article, and the science just go to these authors and ask them public through science again. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> what I would like to say that uh, very difficult to estimate quantity uh, quality of scientific output in fundamental science, but it is possible. Right now, uh, we use uh, the Hirsch index, believing that if this uh, the um, if the more scientists cited, current scientists, uh, the more influencing the scientist is. But uh, unfortunately, there are more uh, much discussion in this uh, in this regard because um, uh, because there are different uh, situation. <coughs> yes. Just continue. I have two questions afterwards. Okay. Right now. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry for inter interrupting you. And uh, um, you mentioned uh, um, interesting thing like uh, Institute of Developments. 
and uh, I wanted to ask uh, about the history of developments uh, uh, from, uh, I mean, which are attributed to the Ministry of, of Education and uh, which evaluation system do you use to assess them, assess their efficiency? Do you use all these factors? Yes, this is, these factors used uh, for uh, Russian funds, scientific funds. Uh, uh, to analyze all institutes of development, it was uh, made very big uh, survey. Uh, just questionnaire was on 80 pages, mm, maybe more, maybe 100 pages, uh, uh, with uh, not easy questions. So I mean, the, some questions requires big tables uh, of analysis. So, um, the, but uh, the question was here, uh, and, and uh, in overall analysis, the question was how uh, we need, first of all, or before uh, do this, we should create the methodology uh, to provide the survey, because the survey uh, take much resources, many people work, and the results and output could be useless, definitely. So, uh, these points uh, described here, this is the part of methodology that was developed to uh, focus on information which could be used uh, on changing and reshaping the uh, fund management uh, and uh, fund programs uh, and something like that. Okay. And the second uh, is more uh, the rhetoric one, uh, because um, um, there are also institutes of development for innovation sphere, such as uh, a Russian venture company. And, yes. Uh, um, recently, it was discovered. Rosnana and something like that. And uh, it was discovered that uh, last year uh, the biggest part of uh, the venture market, uh, I mean about more than 50%, uh, uh, was attributed to one deal, I mean like the business deal. It took about 50% uh, of the venture market. So um, how do you think, is it, a, um, is it might, might be this information used as an indicator of efficiency or non-efficiency of uh, the venture market and the institute of development uh, which uh, has to stimulate this uh, innovation uh, to, uh, innovation market in Russia. Like, uh, if uh, the biggest part of the venture market uh, goes to only one business deal and uh, the rest, uh, despite all this uh, great amounts of money that the government invests uh, for institute of development, so, like, uh, we, we we cannot measure the impact. We do not see this impact. Okay. Mm. I uh, look. Um, ana ana it is important to make analysis and uh, take actions to uh, reach some goals. If we will react on some. Uh, uh, events that evolve uh, occasionally, maybe in due to some uh, ch uh, chances on, I don't know, some uh, active business activities. So um, the thing of analysis is to open op options and uh, say that we have different options one, two, at least two options. One is better, the second is, uh, I don't know, uh, or maybe this is worse. And uh, as we uh, see on Walter White uh, example, when uh, he discu uh, they discussed the, the role of gun, it's uh, when we analyze, it's not important to analyze only current stage on only this event, but uh, the consequences, what we will do next, what could be then, that could be next, and something like that. If we make several steps uh, in the modeling, just simple, so we can build and estimate the consequences and weighted different options.
react on some uh, situation that this situation could be I don't know uh, not the way to result but this could be uh, I don't know uh, again this could be the wind which uh, move us somewhere other some other place so um, if we just point on the uh, venture market, uh, it's uh, not easy question because you know uh, uh, RVC will be change uh, response will be changing responsibility after this survey. They will be um, in um, I would say project office for. Uh, Science and Technology Initiatives, yes, initiatives. This is very, this is new approach and I think everyone knows, yes, about the, this uh, several initiatives. Uh, but look, these initiatives, Science and Technology, describes the way that the aim was first. When the aim uh, was defined that we will be, will focus our efforts on uh, neural net, on other nets, uh, which on future markets, not on technology, uh, not on I don't know superconductivity, not on I don't know lasers technology, but on markets. So uh, this is completely reshaping the, uh, this should uh, reshape the approaches and the estimation of what we have. So uh, if we change from, uh, if you remember the uh, priorities, science and technology priorities, uh, which is right now still, uh, it's uh, energy efficiency, uh, uh, biomedicine, and something like that. This is very sp specialized on uh, scientific topics, scientific fields uh, area. So uh, this is this require one instrument. When we uh, created another aims. So uh, the way how to estimate effectiveness of current uh, environment should be changed. We uh, should change, rethink effect of any acting body on the new aim and analyze the impact on the new aim, not scientific, but economic. So that means that we should, in this regard, uh, re-estimate current uh, institutes of development, how they could construct and build new system, which will be more effective. I don't know, uh, not this one, but uh, HAMA, yes? Uh, and uh, the estimation model will be um, depend will depend on uh, what we what system we plan to build uh, as a result. That's why we begin began uh, from aims. Uh. Okay. Another question. You mentioned that uh, you measure scientific output with the uh, Hirsch index. Yeah? So, who is, um, how this kind of methodological decision was made? Who is responsible and how precise the, this kind of decision is made? Look, uh, the question is uh, again. Uh, in the funds, uh, in the Ministry of Education Science, when we just give the money, uh, we need any kind of uh, estimation of uh, the proposal that we get, estimation of uh, quantity of people, scientists, that make this proposal. 
in science, very difficult to find uh, any type of uh, objective estimation. Uh, until this Hirsch index and uh, quantity uh, and any estimation of uh, publications, the main model was expert estimation. But, you know, in very uh, close, um, very narrow fields of science, the people know each other, so it will be very bright, uh, very wide area for um, fighting between scientific community with different vision, you know. So if we are experts uh, and I see uh, not uh, another understanding of science and technology, I can uh, read it off. So uh, easily um, isolate the other scientific way from the budget. So uh, it's, it's the way of subjective, subjective vision. That's why from the national uh, this scientific estimation will come to international scientific community and now all the funds, funds uses mostly international scientific community to estimate to avoid this issue. But again, science become closer and closer. Scientists very know each other who work in this field uh, all around the world. And there are international community, and sometimes they in competitive uh, situation, they compete for the budget, for the for the uh, money. That's why uh, sometimes we face the issue with uh, uh, non-objective expertise. That's why. Um, most of the time it was discussing how we can obtain some kind of objective estimation uh, of uh, quantity of scientific, uh, quality of scientific uh, output. And Hirsch index uh, is uh, one of these uh, objective uh, measure. It works not very well. There are known exceptions or issues is, uh, I don't know, um, mm, scandal article. Scandal article could create a mass of uh, uh, citations, but not positive, but negative. So uh, it's difficult to separate. There are fields of science where uh, not articles, but in, uh, for example, in uh, psychology, uh, there are more more books than articles. So uh, citing books is another another uh, thing. But anyway, uh, Hirsch index used uh, like one of the instrument, and it uh, inserted in the as one of the uh, parameters on estimation proposals. In Ministry of Education Science, uh, also in Russian scientific funds. Yes, my, uh, thank you. My question was actually about who precisely is um, working on these methodological questions. Or what? In, in, uh, in Russian Ministry of Science and Education, who is developing these um, um, KPI, I would say. There is no KPI here. Uh, like, uh, this is one of the indicators. Ways to, ways to measure science. Uh, uh, it's, it's constantly evolving. Yes, ministry works on that. Who in the ministry? Who in the ministry? <laughs> Look, is this. Um, this work is constantly evolving during many years. And uh, many departments changed since then. Even minister changed since then. <laughs> so uh, right now, this is Department of Science and Technology. Who's doing all the methodological work? Yes. Any question? OK. Uh, the Russian fund. Um, uh, we just speak about Russian funds uh, 
about projects, topics, and expected results. That's why it's very important was to point out uh, what is the scientific results at all, how to estimate it. Uh, so uh, for for us, unfortunately, for example, the weakest part of Russian science is lower publication. Uh, in English, so uh, lower citation in the world community. For example, uh, on Russia, 10 times more articles becomes on Russian uh, in Russia than in English. So m bigger part of science is outside of international scientific uh, community. Again, anything has two sides at least, good and bad. For example, uh, if we have uh, strain, uh, strain uh, scientific community which is somehow closed for international, so it creates output uh, which is preferably available for scientific, Russian scientific business community. So, Russian scientific business community have uh, priority access for the scientific knowledge created in Russia and Russia. And this is some kind of, this is additional uh, competitive advantage uh, at one side. And uh, the other side we have uh, issue that uh, this knowledge not integrated in international science, sometimes we have uh, the same discovery, international, the same discovery, which was uh, uh, before in Russia. Anyway, compliance with expected results. Yes, fund should facilitate publications, it facilitate output. And uh, we know how we can estimate it. This is Hirsch Index and publication is in high ranking uh, journals. Uh, implementation tools, uh, how they arrange the competition and amount of financing. This is also, I uh, just uh, make some comments to understand what does it mean. Uh, for example, uh, okay, uh, let's, let's point, let's uh, revise it and from the other side, as I said, uh, any analysis should be applicable, should be reasonable. Otherwise, it's just uh, data, it's just the statistics. We can keep it on the shelf and forget about it. Uh, this analysis was, and this methodology was aimed to finally understand uh, actions and options, what we can do uh, to rise the efficiency and effectiveness uh, of the fund. So what does it mean, for, for example, co-financing? We find that uh, Russian funds uh, have very small co-financing, very small uh, even Russian, in a, um, Russian fund uh, for innovation, they have very small uh, ROI return of investment from their company. So uh, we just begin to, f to arrange special activities to facilitate co-financing. We find the issues in the law to support this. Uh, and now we're just uh, facilitating this, this procedure. Uh, average annual income from the use of the idle funds. Uh, so also, after the analysis we find, but finally we understand that in this instable situation, it's difficult to understand how to secure uh, funding. Because uh, at the same time, uh, banking system is definitely and constantly re, uh, reshaping. So we just use it as an information uh, and administrative costs. To uh, lower administrative costs 
final decision was to join two funds. Russian fund for human, Russian humanitarian fund will uh, now is joining to Russian fund for basic research. So this analysis served for appropriate decision. It was not easy decision, definitely, because uh, it was analysis of uh, final consequences, uh, what it leads to, and uh, uh, we analyzed the risks. For example, in the uh, in the fund, it's difficult to manage the quantity which spent on humanitarian science and the, uh, the other part of sciences. So we take special measures to uh, secure the field of humanitarian science to be uh, funded not less than before. Uh, this is the uh, outcome and results of this analysis. And compliance with expected results. Uh, what we saw, project topics and expected results. Uh, so finally analyzing that, we find uh, that uh, we can uh, find the ways how we, there are many, many decisions in this regard, how to facilitate and uh, facilitate scientific output. Uh, first of all, uh, is uh, the requirement uh, to public uh, articles in English language in high-sided uh, high journals. And uh, implementation tools, it's, it's a bigger, uh, bigger issue, but the amount of financing, interesting question that uh, we find that uh, in some programs that financed uh, by Russian Fund for Humanitarian Research, uh, we, f we found that the, uh, due to um, changing currency rate and inflation, uh, the amount of grant become small enough to not interest to not become scientists interested in getting these funds they think that efforts that need to do right now is much more than gain, they they will gain from this fund and finally we we found that uh, there is a lower rate, lower that uh, interest so so become low that uh, competition become less than two uh, less than two one and a half uh, proposals on on the competition. So it means that I just write the proposal, get the grant. But uh, effect of this low competition and uh, uh, attractive attractiveness only for those who have free time and uh, uh, not very maybe, maybe not very high ranking. We decided to reshape and rise amount of grant and uh, low uh, and shorten the quantity of grants to rise the competition and invite more scientists, uh, more high scientists in this type of uh, activities. This is also, again, analysis was made by analysis as the Walter White demonstrate. What then? Uh, three shots? So, okay, let's go. Uh, next, quality of projects, examination, and selection. Uh, so, uh, as I said, uh, the issue was uh, again obtained that uh, subjective estimation of scientific proposals leads to very, uh, uh, very separated and uh, competitive fight between scientists. So uh, the idea that 
we need to invite leading foreign scientists, international scientists, to make estimation. Also, to uh, solve another issue. The, the question is that, uh, okay, I have very good result. I can uh, apply with some proposal, then I can change a little bit, I apply again, gain and gain money, but I'm changing a little bit, apply again and again and again, just moving like a turtle, uh, very small steps. Uh, and uh, if uh, the experts have no much ambitions for the scientific output, it's very, very easy, it's curious thing, ambitions of experts. So they uh, can get, okay, a small, small advantage, but anyway, it's science. And they go forward. But uh, if we just invite uh, big scientists uh, from big science, they see the science another way. They see that this is, uh, the science requires bigger steps, significant difference, significant uh, uh, novelty, significant output. Uh, so that reshape the final output. So this change of uh, quality, not quantity. Uh, world known Russian scientists, it's, it's close uh, business community representatives. Uh, also, important thing that uh, again, uh, what, what, what we found that um, that's common thing that uh, there are very leak, uh, le uh, weak link between fundamental science and applied sciences. Different people, uh, most of the time, work in this regard because, uh, okay, I just get the money and write an article. That's, that's the idea of uh, scientists in fundamental science. Uh, those who work on applied sciences, they need more budget uh, and uh, more spendings, more spendings on equipment, uh, on uh, intellectual property on uh, proof of concept, on conferences, on many spendings, and very fine time, uh, uh, very fine time results and uh, output, financial output uh, on this uh, result. So uh, much spendings and. Uh, very late uh, outcome. This is different models. And sometimes uh, those who do uh, fundamental science that they think that uh, it's very complicated, very complicated, it's better to write an article. And finally, we have very big gap between fundamental science and applied sciences. Uh, it also connected with uh, patent issues, patenting, licensing, and something like that. Maybe i say a couple of words of, about this. Uh, so what we have? To facilitate this, we're just trying to invite business in estimation of quantity of proposals, in estimation of quantity of results, uh, business community to make economic estimation, because until then, uh, funds most of the time make technological and scientific uh, estimation. Uh, so as long as we, as I said, we will settle another aim, uh, another goal, with the goal that have economic uh, meaning, so we should have an economic evaluation, economic uh, and participation, appropriate, appropriate community uh, in this process. Um, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, yes, it, this is also 
consistency. Uh, okay. Even if we have not only fundamental sciences, but applied sciences, we have issue to uh, bridging this project from one state, stage to another. Because uh, if we uh, don't have very connected system between funds, uh, for example, as I said, uh, we have funds uh, for basic uh, research, for applied sciences, for small or for bigger, for uh, production stage, uh, and uh, there are very weak connection between these instruments, this institute of development. This is good and bad. Good means that, uh, okay, yes, yes, this is a competitive market and the uh, situation could change, finally. And uh, if we supported this fundamental project, it doesn't mean that it, will, it should be supported on the next uh, stage. Doesn't mean. Maybe it's not good. Maybe finally uh, there are other proposals which much better, which have bigger future. So uh, it is. It sometimes it's good. It doesn't mean that we every project should uh, sh every project should go through idea to to the factory. Uh, for example, uh, Apple. They have a Newton. If you maybe heard about this, this is uh, this is uh, early stage uh, pad, which was developed maybe in 90s. And and what? Where is it? Uh, there was no market in this uh, product, but it is what well, it was good at that time. But uh, it means not every time we need go from idea to the market. At this. Uh, this is good on one hand. On the other hand, it's bad but I'm, because uh, because we uh, sometimes we lose we lose good projects, good projects which will have maybe big output on the later stage. But on current stage, it not seems so perfect. So uh, it's complicated situation. But finally, again, as I would say that. Analysis, the analysis of effectiveness and efficiency should be focused on obtaining new options, new visions of future, and propose and estimate uh, these options as uh, what consequences could be in this, on this, or in other, on one or other actions. So, uh, projects receive financing at the next stage of foundation support. So, we finally decided that this is also the, uh, describes the quantity, uh, quality, quality uh, of projects, examination, and selection of the fund. This is very difficult to trace the uh, model of finance and long live and a further living of this project. Uh, that's why uh, on the new model of uh, s and uh, uh, STI, STI, Science Technology Initiatives, we're thinking about more consistent system uh, about the project office who will take special attention from the, uh, for the life cycle of any project in this uh, way to facilitate uh, its bringing from one st uh, stage to another and uh, finally get to final financing and final results and finally get to the market. Foundation of science activities, it's publication, patents and certificates, authorship, know-how, books, and something like that. Because the foundation uh, should support uh, not only, okay, a couple of words. Uh, one of the important thing is uh, of analysis and comparison. Uh, we 
to analyze the Russian funds, we analyze also uh, them in comparison with the international fund system. And uh, what is our idea was when we uh, analyze looking at the international funding system? Because, you know, we can compare on very much uh, feed, uh, parameters of one or another funds. It could be endless uh, research. Uh, but our idea was come from the, uh, the model of scientific community and uh, the meaning of the fund, that fund uh, they should fit with the scientific demand. So scientific community require uh, have some usual activities, as I as I described it, 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 the model just briefly before. Uh, scientific uh, community have appropriate demand, and the question: What is the demand exactly? not such obvious. And uh, to understand it, we look through international uh, funds, just uh, analyze which projects, programs, and which activities, which form of spendings this fund uh, provided in their country. Uh, and look at that. Like the funds is covering appropriate demand in scientific community. Finally, decide if is there um, such a demand in Russian scientific community. Maybe it's not covered with the budget and uh, it's starving. That's why uh, we just looking at different activities. Uh, uh, one of them it's uh, supporting scientific publications, uh, there is, we le left one point, is the scientific mobility, also uh, which was left some years ago from our, our Russian Fund for Basic Research, we just finally get it back. So, uh, and other foundation of science technology activities, uh, so it means the support of prototypes and technologies ready for uh, mass production and foundation innovation activities. Okay. Oh, there is one more. Demand for project funded. Um, Okay, uh, I would point this point, uh, this bullet is number six, which is also very important, because uh, if we speak about SNT policy, we should understand that uh, uh, this uh, science and technology environment, uh, it's not separated thing, it's integrated into international research area, uh, and there are many, many uh, international projects in Russia which provided with Russian uh, universities, with Russian uh, scientific organizations and uh, private companies and something like that. So uh, international projects and supporting international projects uh, on bilateral, on multilateral form uh, between different countries. It's very important uh, activities to uh, support knowledge sharing and gaining from the uh, infrastructure and uh, scientific uh, community which is in another country. So to have, uh, so to have, I don't know, synergy effect where uh, different laboratories just joining the uh, complementary complementary uh, research and finally create something new jointly with a joint uh, scient uh, joint scientific output. So 
just before to the practice, the final uh, idea is we can speak about everything uh, as, mo as much as we have the time, so no one can be told what the reality is, you have to see it for yourself. So we just go to the practice stage, but we have not time, not more time. Uh, okay, uh, I prefer maybe you have questions. Maybe we just replace the practice by yes, questions. As I understand, uh, the science and education is in, in the competence of science and education ministry. But uh, does the innovation field uh, in the competence of uh, science and education ministry in Russia? Um, mm, innovation, mm, the main uh, the main ministry responsible for innovation is Ministry of, uh, for Innovation. And uh, Ministry of Education and Science also responsible for innovation. For example, Innovation Forum is supported by the Ministry of Education and Science. And uh, uh, we supported innovation activities of universities. Uh, we, uh, uh, provided, uh, we are providing and supporting special activities to uh, support transfer of transfer of scientific output from the project that we finance to the market. Unfortunately, it's not very easy uh, because, as I said, uh, scientists don't like the uh, money which is in a couple of years will arise. They like it to get right now. Uh, and uh, we're just thinking the ways how to, um, how to uh, s change the model and uh, uh, take into account the wind of desire of scientists uh, to anyway move them to the uh, applied and production stage. So uh, we uh, facilitate uh, innovation stage uh, but we don't responsible for uh, venture fairs, for example. It's responsibility uh, of Ministry of Economic Development and uh, Russian fund uh, for small and medium companies just uh, moved uh, to the, will be moving to this uh, Ministry of Economic Development. We also have the Ministry of uh, Industry, sorry. <laughs> Yes, we have also Minister of Industry, Industry who is responsible for uh, industry stage of the projects, uh, and um, no, but so we have very strict uh, responsibility and partly on the uh, innovation stage. And um, does the Ministry of Labor uh, anyhow involved in innovations in, in you know in preparing uh, specialists in emerging sectors of economy? No. Uh, I, uh, no and yes. Uh, right now, for example, uh, Ministry of Labor just moving forward uh, the law uh, which require uh, to uh, have the job uh, only you have uh, to have the job on specialist specialities that uh, you have by pure education. So uh, not uh, not everywhere, uh, but uh, in government on government level in uh, uh, state companies uh, and uh, companies with uh, uh, state participation, uh, it will be so. And in university, it's so right now, uh, not everywhere, but uh, the process in, in there. This is idea that uh, we should uh, make the situation that uh, students should have the job on, uh, on the in the field that they was educated before. Otherwise, uh, this education system not effective. So that's that's the uh, effectiveness and efficiency 
and rise the effectiveness and efficiency of education system. Uh, and again, when we analyze this education system, we should understand what for. One of the aim is to uh, arrange some conditions to uh, have stronger link with uh, uh, the specialization of edu on education stage and on um, in business on a government. But the yes. system uh, works um, with a lag in something maybe seven years, yes? So uh, you need a couple of years to prepare education programs and you also need five years to prepare uh, to educate people. But for some uh, areas, emerging areas like biotechnologies or uh, nanotechnologies, uh, these processes are very fast in a, in a global, uh, global scale. And uh, it's, it's, it could be a problem to prepare specialists right now and very fast uh, because some institutes for, for development finance these directions. But our system of education uh, it isn't very fast to prepare specialists for these fields. So it, it's, um, and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, programs in these fields are, uh, are conducted in state corporations. So it could be a dissonance for state corporations to, uh, to develop these fields because they can't uh, use uh, specialists of other fields. And uh, specialists in these particular fields just don't exist. Yes, this is the problem. But what's the options? Uh, and uh, we definitely have, have options in this field. Uh, first of all, uh, we uh, uh, release a little bit the educational program, program and uh, make the educational program flexible and uh, adjustable by the students as itself. The second thing is uh, when we uh, say so that there are evolving uh, new uh, specialities and uh, labor markets, the question is that uh, right now it's clearly difficult to predict with a high, uh, with a high uh, high predictability, which, which uh, specialization will be, play, uh, will be required or demanded at that time, because the demand made by business, yes, we will have the same, uh, mostly the same model of government, uh, but uh, when we speak about the business, the demand of the business depends on so many uh, parameters, for example, crisis just released mass of people, uh, and it's mostly unpredictable. So, uh, what we do to do this, uh, to fix this? Uh, first of all, you know, the IC just made uh, the uh, far side float, uh, and uh, uh, they provided uh, very good far sides, and that. Uh, provided the list of future uh, specialities for, I don't know, maybe 20, 30, something like that. There are many funny things. I recommend you to list it because uh, there are many, many souls. I was smiling very much, but I don't know that uh, maybe um, uh, finally we will have this. Right now it's difficult to predict, but if we will have a hint, if we will have options, we will have a freedom to choose. And this freedom uh, to choose become available to, uh, to students community, to universities, to private companies who support uh, special programs to uh, specialize in different fields. So, uh, our idea is to create options uh, and allow people to choose, but not to uh, fix and narrow in some fields at all.
So the idea is to provide flexibility. Yes, and what do you think about the model when large business uh, participate in the late stages of education and uh, this way prepares uh, specialist uh, executive for uh, their particular needs? So this model is, uh, could be named as connected model, so from, from education to business. And it could uh, somehow solve this problem with, uh, with the gap of education and the labor market, uh, especially for emerging fields when uh, large business who uh, have uh, some particular tasks could involve in education on late stages and uh, deal with their problems. So it, it, it is used uh, in, in, some, uh, in some universities. Yes, it's very wide distributed practice, very wide, uh, because uh, um, uh, I know several institutes who um, make to, who teach for international uh, international companies, for example, Saint Petersburg. Um, uh, University of um, uh, of oil. I don't remember the exact name of oil. Uh, they uh, they educated maybe thirty percent uh, for the uh, people for big uh, oil companies. Thirty percent from the budget of these companies and they accepted them and they will work and they work in this regard so this is very uh, high distributed uh, practice yandex provided this the same model mm -hmm. and uh, intel uh, and ibm i know also uh, uh, they have also the model to create uh, special labs to test testify uh, students on the beginning uh, by participating in the special projects, uh, R&D projects. So they see who is good enough. They created the stipends, special stipends, uh, and support uh, their activities. So, uh, and what do you think? Is it effective model? Definitely. It's effective. Otherwise, we'll spend for these people uh, the budget money. So, uh, uh, in, in this way, so do you plan to extend this experience on other uh, other uh, areas of technology and uh, industry? For example, biotechnology, because it is quite a problem for a biotechnology to connect education, for example, from North Dakota State University with uh, with other companies uh, uh, for biological problems. I see. I see. Uh, this is very interesting uh, question uh, with with two parts of to answer. First of all, uh, we don't force anyone. Uh, it's impossible, clearly. Uh, we just create some conditions for for this uh, to happen. But in the field that you mentioned, uh, mostly bio and medicine, uh, we have uh, the uh, very poor internal market uh, for develop, develop uh, production market. All of the market is outside. Unfortunately, our investors prefer to uh, to invest in uh, selling reselling model than in production model. Yes, I understand it's very difficult and it's long period, it requires long period and something like that. But finally, uh, the situation is such uh, that uh, very few very few, there is, yeah, yes, there are some, but very few of these companies invest uh, budget in uh, these uh, institutes. But uh, finally, uh, most of them, uh, they don't pay for the education right now, but uh, they allow uh, students to go practice in these business companies. And uh, finally, we have at least uh, the opportunities to get good job uh, in such companies. So we'll see. Okay, thank you. Yeah.
Yeah. Um, there is a very interesting project um, by uh, SNP department, which is a map of Russian science. Would you elaborate a little bit on the main challenges you faced while implementing? Yes, it's a very interesting project. Uh, uh, what you see is um, a very small part. The main, the the most impo important and interesting part is uh, hidden in in the database. Uh, the idea is uh, there are, for example, indexes, uh, uh, Web of Science and Scopus. Unfortunately, uh, this these indexes uh, not very clear. I understand why not very uh, clear um, the more on Russian science. For example, they, uh, the uh, journals, uh, they, uh, s they mentioned uh, authors with diff different types and organizations with different types. That's why in <coughs> indexes, uh, author could, uh, could be uh, uh, different uh, so it's so it's difficult to join all articles by auth automatic uh, process to gather all articles of one scientist because for computer uh, I don't know uh, Karatkov Dmitry Palch or Karatkov Depet this is different people this is uh, different people so. Uh, um, we created special intellectual uh, algorithm that uh, gather uh, articles by similarity and uh, uh, analyze the subject of science and analyze the uh, appropriate name in naming and gather information about the scientists. So, idea is to gather gather in a one connected database which is not presented in the world at, at all uh, publications and scientific research and research opportunities for young scientists in the conferences and institutions uh, I mean every much of the important index information to uh, make this instrument uh, available uh, and available uh, to scientific community to solve appropriate task. For example, uh, I need uh, I need some kind of uh, equipment. I, I need some kind of material. Who is working on that? So I can. In this regard, I can find by articles all scientists who do this job and then find organizations where they are working and see what laboratories uh, they have and then contact them directly. So this is instrument to uh, analyze the scientific community and I don't know, student would like to find the appropriate laboratory to work in, not those laboratory with which uh, scientific uh, uh, which uh, scientific advisor said to him, but what he would like to. So this is also instrument. So uh, Russian map, map of science is an idea to join very different uh, databases. Uh, also, I, I said it's not it, it's not easy way but because organization is merging, uh, journals uh, is renaming, uh, and uh, life is changing. But we should keep it consistent uh, to make additional value to scientific community. This is just development stage. And we hope uh, this uh, it will be on the appropriate uh, level maybe in the next year. So this is also, I would say, also instrument for an for uh, estimation, <laughs> effectiveness, and efficiency. Example, example. Uh, right now, uh, Fano. 
uh, federal agency of scientific organization just uh, making re um, uh, remerging or uh, merging some institutes of uh, uh, scientific institutes to raise their efficiency and the question is was and is who to merge uh, which institutes should be merged uh, and why? So one of the uh, instruments which uh, we use for estimate efficiency uh, of merges institute was the map of science. The idea and instrument that we use, we just saw the uh, quantity of joint publica publications. So, if two organizations have uh, joint publications, that means that two laboratories have very good cooperation. But uh, if two laboratories, uh, if there are many articles uh, cited each other, but not in uh, one article, it means that they competing and we should not join these institutions but on, but because otherwise, as long as we will join, they will uh, eat each other somehow and we will lose the uh, competitive, uh, competitive base. Okay. So, what else? I just thought what um, what to show uh, as the inst as the instrument without um, common usage. So to to illustrate that uh, <clears throat> we can. Uh, estimate effectiveness and efficiency only if we understand use cases of uh, what we uh, are dealing with. So that's just an example. <laughs> so thank you very much for taking time.